Hey, what's up productivity junkies? Darren Persinger here. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about niche marketing, specifically how niche marketing can bring you better results in your business development. Now I see a lot of real estate agents, even brokerages, just small businesses in general, trying to be everything to everybody, like Coca-Cola and Pepsi and Apple, those guys are, they have huge marketing budgets and they're marketing to a huge population. Now, if you're a real estate agent, you need to take a hard look at what is your actual niche? What is your actual target market? So what I wanna share with you are the three markets that you need to look at and why you need to get to the smallest one. So let's take a look at this. The three markets that you're working with in the real estate industry, the vertical space of real estate, is you have your macro market, okay? And the macro market's gonna consist of United States, Canada. It, it might even at a smaller micro level, it might consist of the state. So the news is throwing around a lot of information about home prices up, doing this or down, sales down. Home Builders Association uh, built 25% less homes this quarter, right? They're talking about stuff pretty much all on the macro level. Who cares? We don't care about this macro level. Even buyers and sellers don't care about this. They care about, we'll get there. So macro level. The next um, marketing area that you can look at is your metro level. Okay, so the second level down is metro. But again, I don't think this is where you wanna be, you guys. Because the metro level is too big of a space still for you to compete in. The, the people that are in the metro level are Realtor.com, Trulia, Zillow, um, all of the real estate brokerages, franchises, right? The, all the listing aggregators, they're all operating at this level. So your marketing is not gonna be effective online or offline at this level either, all right? Too much competition, you don't have enough money to make a dent, to be effective there. So this is the area you wanna be in. And this is the micro market, okay? So the micro market is your community, the neighborhoods that you're in. You have to get down to that small finite space because the people that are dominating at the metro level actually don't have the resources or time or patience to even get down to the micro level. If they're succeeding here, they don't necessarily care about the communities and neighborhoods. So this is where if you can get niched, if you can do micro-focused marketing, you're gonna be able to su succeed. Then what you do from here, after you pick up a few different micro-markets, right? You start to build micro-markets. Eventually, all of those micro-markets start to fill up the metro area. And then you can start to dominate at a, at a bigger level as long as you dominated at the small level first. Here's the example that I wanna give you. For all of my real estate in industry friends in the Puget Sound area, go take a stone, throw it into the Puget Sound. What kind of effect does that have? Now take that same stone and drop it into a glass of water. What kind of effect does that have? The smaller you get, the bigger effect you will have.